Hey guys, this is my review for Joker, the new film from Todd Phillips and DC. This is Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker, and this film is absolutely amazing. It's one of the best DC films ever made. It's honestly like, I would say top tier DC, like The Dark Knight's my favourite film of all time, same with The Dark Knight Rises. It's up there with you know, Wonder Woman and Batman Begins, like, it's seriously that good, and I love those films, you guys know I love those films, and so, Joker is amazing, it's a fictional tale seen through a realistic lens, it's dark, it's gritty, but it's also kind of harmonious, and when you watch the film, you understand what I mean by harmonious, there's a lot of dancing, and it feels like the sort of storyline and his character progression sort of dances along, and nicely moves along in that certain way. It's not a comic book film with Joaquin Phoenix, but it's the other way. It's a comic book character placed in a Joaquin Phoenix film, and Joaquin Phoenix is absolutely amazing. He is out of this world as the Joker, as Arthur Fleck in this film, and so this film is breathtakingly dark, and it's actually really incredible. It has a wealth of inspiration from the late 70s, specifically Martin Scorsese with Taxi Driver, The King of Comedy, Mean Streets, and then also The Man Who Laughed, which was a silent film that actually inspired the Joker in the comics. Like, it came out before, and that was the main inspiration for it. And so Joker is able to expand on what was so good about Heath Ledger, my favourite Joker, but also my other favourite Jokers, Jack Nicholson and Cesar Romero, who all brought something new, and he brings something completely different, completely new, nothing you've seen before, it's incomparable to any other Joker, because it's so different. So, we are invited to love a monster, but in a way that keeps it morally ambiguous, it's a fresh, it's a bold and utterly beautiful story, and a film that, you know, is really about character, and Joaquin Phoenix will be laughing his way to the award season because man he delivers one of the best performances of the decade easily of this year like him and Leonardo DiCaprio this year like damn these guys can fucking act and he is fully absorbed into Joker's twisted journey and it's also like I said it's kind of gracious and harmonious in the building to his descent or you could class it as his rise once you see the film you understand and so there is a sense of, like, a chilling nature, really, behind it because of the, you know, the way the film goes out and the way that, you know, Todd Phillips has directed the film, the cinematography, like, the shots are some of the best shots of the year. Like, it's something to really marvel at. And, yeah, so you will get chills. It's just those moments, like in The Dark Knight or something like that, when you get the first reveal of the Joker or you get, you know, the last scene with the Joker or like the ending scenes of the Dark Knight, it's, it has those moments, it has those moments that will make you shiver, enjoy, but also fear at the same time, and so, like I said, Todd Phillips does an excellent job directing, and the cinematography by Lawrence Sher is brilliant, it's absolutely amazing, it really evokes the decaying city streets of New York, but obviously Gotham in this case, like Mean Streets and Taxi Driver, you know, heavily influenced by Martin Scorsese, and it has an incredible soundtrack and score. The score specifically is amazing, but I want to highlight the soundtrack because, man, there is some fucking good songs in this, and they really know how to use it, and it all plays into sort of the musical aspect, like I said, with the sort of dancing, the continuous dancing, and how, you know, his story sort of shown through dance in a way, in a weird way, and Todd Phillips has said this, this is not just me making it up, and I'm just sort of expanding on that, and so Joaquin Phoenix, like I said, is amazing, but Robert De Niro, man, what an amazing supporting performance as Murray Franklin, a talk show host, he is such a great presence, and his interactions with Joaquin Phoenix as Arthur Fleck and Joker are class examples of why he's one of the best actors of all time, and those two play off so well. And there's one brilliant scene towards the end of the film with both of them that may be just one of the best scenes of the whole year. And another element I really like was the darkness. And, you know, in America they call it the R rating. And in UK, 
it's rated a 15, which means, you know, it's darker, because the Dark Knight, for comparison, if you don't know how the UK system goes, was a 12, so you can watch it when you're a 12, and you can only watch this when you're 15 and above in the UK. So it's dark, it really has that space to actually go into a realist sort of lens, like a mode, and the, the violence, like when it actually comes, the violence is sharp, bold, and abrupt. It will scare you, and it will shock you, but that is with a great passion behind it. Everything has meaning behind it, and it creates that further sense of unease due to, you know, the instability of Arthur and his descent into becoming the Joker. It, the violence is really well done and really sort of parallels the story, and it makes so much sense that they did it in the way they did, so I oblige you to soak in that darkness. So Joker is a brazenly breathtaking film with Joaquin Phoenix delivering one of the best performances of the decade as the Clown Prince of Crime, but a Clown Prince of Crime you've never seen before, and Todd Phillips is absolutely amazing in the director's chair. He directs the shit out of this film. It will disturb, contort, and make you laugh. It finds the perfect line between tragedy and comedy, as it is mentioned in the trailer, and this is not one to miss. Like, it's so fucking good. I give it a five stars. It's one of my favorite films this year. Damn, go see it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. See you around.